hello, this is Jonathan with Resale World and welcome to our video on how to push an item up to Shopify using Liberty for consignment. The first thing we're going to do here is open up our Liberty for consignment software that is located on our desktop. Going to sign in. And for the purposes of this video, I'll be adding a whole new account, uh, just showcasing it as Shopify. Once we are in our Shopify account, it's important to note that the marketplace, as a default, if the account is going to be pushing up all items to Shopify, is set to ReCommerce. Uh, in some cases, that field is going to be located under the 6 tab of information, or it will be under additional information under tab 7. Uh, it will be called default website. We can drop this down and select ReCommerce. Now, make a note that even though it says ReCommerce, it is actually going to Shopify. We are still using the same back-end process. Um, otherwise, you can select None and go for a case-by-case -case basis when you're adding your inventory and set the marketplace there. I'm going to go ahead and select none. So before we move on, um, it's important to go over some category structure things as to how uh, Liberty categories, or I should say inventory, flows into collections. There's two ways to add inventory to collections. Um, the first way would be to use the category structure to make sure that that item flows in the proper collection. And the other way is to actually push the category structure, uh, like your second level category, over as a tag. You also have the choice to push up your category level one, which is your department, as a tag, as the title of your collection, or not at all. So when I'm talking about category structure in general, I'm, I'm talking about going under tools, and then category editor. So in here, we have the top level, which is the department, the second level, which is the section that's underneath the department, and then we have the third level, which is the type of item underneath the section, which again is underneath the department. So first level, second level, and then third level type of item. When we push things into Shopify, we are normally using the second level. So if you have a collection named maternity, and that's the title of the, the collection, then the any items that you are pushing up under maternity will flow into that collection of maternity. If that collection is not already available on Shopify, when you push the item up, the collection will then be, be created as part of the sync process. The other option is to, of course, have us set this so that it's a tag, and that way you can control it via tag on Shopify. So in Shopify, you would select your tag option to go into a specific collection. That way you can have one tag associated with multiple collections if you plan on having more than one collection with that item. The simplest way is just to have the second level category flow into the collection that you'd like to use. When you've made your decision to push up your second level category structure as either a tag or straight into a collection, you can contact technical support and we can go ahead and flip this switch in the back end. This also applies to whether or not you want your department or category level one to push up as either a tag, go straight into a collection, or not at all. One thing to note is that if you already have a category structure set up on Shopify, it may be easier to edit your existing category structure, um, that is your second level category structure, in Liberty to match what you have in Shopify. And this can be done by just opening up a primary category or category level one department section here. Uh, we'll look at men's apparel. And then I can maybe change pants and shorts to pants by uh, literally left clicking on pants and shorts, right clicking on it afterwards, clicking edit category, and then I can change this to pants because maybe on Shopify, my collection is just called pants. So if I do not make this change, then it will actually create a pants collection. And then I'll have to add that to my menu or add that to my front page in order for that to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the shorts or the forward slash shorts here. Click OK. 
And now I've, I've ensured everything that goes in under men's apparel pants will go into the pants collection on Shopify. Once I am ready to enter in my first item at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close out of the category editor. I'm going to go to the inventory tab on the current account. In this case, it's the Shopify test account that I've created. And we're going to click on add items. So in here, the purchase method, the date received, um, it really doesn't have any relative effect on when it gets pushed up to Shopify or what happens to it in Shopify. So we're going to go ahead and just move on to the category. In this case, I'm going to just type in cruiser because that's going to be my first item on there. So when we're looking at this, we look at the third level first, which is the type of item. The second level, which is the section, and, and this, this actually gets either pushed up as a tag or as a collection. And then the first level, which is department. In this case, it's vehicles. I'm going to type in my brand. We'll put in our material and our color. So the thing to note about the attributes is that the attributes go up in two separate ways, depending on whether or not you have brand is set to brand or color is set to color or size is set to size or is size. Um, all that stuff's controlled through the category editor. And basically when you see it print on your tags um, and, it's, and it's specific area for brand, color or size, then those will go up as variants in Shopify. They will also go up as tags. So moving on from putting in the attributes here, I'm going to add my title, put in my description for this item. I'll put in my price. In the event that you do not have the marketplace on your screen, to set whether or not you want this to go to Shopify or not, we're going to go ahead and add it. And to add this, you're going to right click on any blank space on your screen and we're going to go to edit layout. We can then locate the marketplace, which is currently in red, means it does not show up. Click on it, or I should say left click on it, click show field, and then check mark it if you want to be able to tab into it. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it because it's not something that I'll, I'll be doing all the time. I'll probably handle that on a case by case basis. I'm going to click OK and then you'll notice that the marketplace field will be added to the layout screen. We want to drop this down and select ReCommerce. Remember that it, even though it says ReCommerce, it will actually go to Shopify. Other things to note is that we do have an option to push the item or whatever item you want as a featured product and, and you can create a collection that will actually show up on your front page and you can call that collection whatever you want and then in our back end we can configure the item to go up in that featured collection. So to, to push it up into that featured col collection that you create you simply check mark this box right here for featured product. Other things to note is that it's important to include a weight with the item. So if you do not see the weight option in here we also have to add that as well. So again, we right click on a, on a blank space here, go to edit layout, scroll down until we find the weight, and then we can show this field as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show it, click OK, and there's the weight. So I'm going to specify a weight uh, for this item. Next, we have to go to the e-commerce details tab, which is located at the top left corner. And this is where we can add images. So there's two ways to add images to an item. You can either click on load photos from at the bottom right hand corner. And we can point the browse section here to the folder where your images are located. So right now I just have a folder called images. And then we just double click on any one of these photos to load the images into the object display. So now I can go ahead and drag and drop the images to the left and you might get a warning. That's okay. We can click okay on that. The other way to push an image up without having to load the images into the object loader here is to right click on a blank space on the left, click select photos, and then double click on the image that you wish to input. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this third image here. 
and then it's ready to go. Finally, we click on the Finish tab, and we set how many we wish to list if we have a quantity. Uh, in, the, in some cases, you might have five, but you only want two to go up to Shopify. You can then type in two instead of um, five. So in this case, I only have one. I'll go ahead and make sure that it's only one. And then we set this item is ready to list here. You can also delay the listing so that way all the items can appear at 9 a.m. or whatever time you want the next day or sometime in the future. I'm going to go ahead and click my Save button here. And then depending on how your sync settings are set, this item will go up within 15 minutes to anywhere to like three days instead. So you can set your sync time by going into Tools and then E-commerce Options. And here I have mine set to two to three times an hour, which is the norm. And then we'll click OK. So right now we could wait about 15 minutes or however long we need to in order for this item to go up. If we need to push it up right away to just see how the item looks, we can go to Storefront Items. And then we can click the Synchronize button. And this will push the item up immediately so that you can see the item on Shopify. Now right now this doesn't normally display on your screen but this is the actual sync process as it takes place. We can now go to our Shopify page and right now I'm going to log in as the admin. So to log in as admin at the very end we can first type in our page here under the address bar And then at the end of the address, um, in this case mine is stateofmindconsignment.myshopify.com, we can add a forward slash admin. And this will take us to the back end of the website so that we can view what we pushed up. Type in your username, which is your email, and your password. So if I go to my products tab here, there's my first product as pushed up. And then we can see the images that I pushed up along with the attributes, the item ID, and the category, uh, the actual product type as well. It is important to note that you can change what appears in the description here as well as how the information appears. For instance, brand can have a colon instead of a dash or a backslash or a forward slash. You can also change the item ID to the account dash item number. I will be including a link in this video as to how to get to the documentation on how to do this. This information can also be changed by the support team for a small fee. This concludes the video on how to push up an item to Shopify through the Liberty for Consignment Inventory module.